Today we are eating everything on the American Girl store menu. For my non-American viewers, this is an American Girl doll and they're absolutely iconic here in the US. I'm sure that you saw my I bought every American Girl doll ever over on my main channel. And in that video, I went to the American Girl doll store to get one of those like customized to look like you dolls. But what you didn't see in that video is the American Girl doll store has a ton of food and treats and we ordered all of it. Oh, and I have a very special package that we're gonna open together at the end of the video. I wanted to go film at the store, but I didn't know if they'd be mad at me, a fully fledged adult woman walking around the American Girl doll store with like a camera crew. <laughs> so we booked the birthday party package. We were afraid that was the only way we were gonna like be able to get in and film. But turns out they were really, really cool. And the manager of the store, Lucy, actually watches my videos. We had a birthday party booked anyway. Uh, <laughs> which like I said in the main channel video, it definitely wasn't my birthday. <laughs> Welcome to my party. So they have a bunch of different birthday party packages and we got the nicest one. All right, so we just got everyone office middle girls today. And it was $38 per person. So you'll have to let me know at the end of this birthday party segment if you think that that's a good deal. Which I don't, I don't know if you guys are interested, but we have fizzy drinks, which is glitter fizz. All right, step one, our Sprite. Step two, on candy glitter bombs. I've tried like an actual glitter bomb one time. It didn't go very well, but I think this cotton candy is gonna be way better. Yay! <gasps> Yours is so cool. <laughs> Step three, we have an edible straw. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Yours is so glittery. Oh, mine is too when the light's on it. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Are they the same flavor? Yeah. It's just sugar flavor. <laughs> it tastes like Sprite. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, and this one had tiny American girl stars in it. So fun. Our first course of actual food was mini cinnamon rolls. I was late to my party, so they were cold, but still decent. I gave one to my doll, but they actually had a tiny plate of blueberries prepared for them. Next was our craft, cupcake decorating for us and our dolls. <laughs> Sitting in absolute silence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a spiky look. Okay, now hers. Do pink sprinkles on hers and rainbow on mine. The cupcake was much better than the cinnamon bowl. That's great. The frosting's so good. Also, I'm really, really grateful that my assistant Anna decided to come to the store with me and be in this video. Otherwise, this would have been kind of awkward to film because it literally would have just been me and then like four camera dudes. <laughs> okay, our first course for food. Wow. They brought us out this little appetizer tower. So this was included in the party, but this little pink shake thing, not included. I got that extra. <laughs> I think this one's called the Mary Ellen shake and it has like a cupcake and candy and stuff. The actual shake itself, I'm pretty sure was just vanilla flavor, which was pretty good, but there's definitely better ones coming. It's great. Vanilla. Okay, back to the appetizer tower though. The first level was these little yogurt cups with berries. It was kind of just like, I don't know, regular berry yo play yogurt. I'm rating this stuff, but we gotta keep in mind that, <laughs> that this experience was designed for like seven year olds. Next, the spinach artichoke dip. This was probably my favorite thing in the appetizer tower. And then the last thing was the pretzels with cheese. Not bad, not the best pretzels I've ever had, but not bad. Also, Tyler kept making fun of Anna and I because every time that we ate some Thing, we would just nod. How else are you supposed to show approval for the food that you're eating other than nodding? Okay, everybody, try some. <laughs> All right, we have another tower. Oh, perfect. Oh, <laughs> Bizarre. <too. laughs> Birthday party experience also included an entree for all of the members of the party. So we decided to get one of each, starting with the burger and fries. This was actually so good. <laughs> oh, wow. How warm. Like, the entrees are low key good enough that if you just happen to be in this mall shopping around and you want to grab lunch. It's a good burger. Okay, and next was the chicken nuggets. This was probably my favorite. These were bomb chicken nuggets. They're huge, crispy, juicy. Look at the kebab <laughs> with the little flower. The salad was a salad. It had like a basic honey mustard dressing. Not my favorite. Oh, they have little pizzas. This pepperoni one was actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> that was so great. It might be my favorite. I don't know. The chicken's pretty good too though. And then probably my second favorite entree was the mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, the stars! It's so cute. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> 
It tastes like the grocery store mac and cheese. <laughs> grocery store mac and cheese is my favorite. By the way, I did not eat all of these entrees by myself. I just did the first taste test and then the whole team ate all of these entrees. They literally make and deliver you a full-size birthday cake. Oh, it's That's so cute. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Not my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and then after your little birthday song, they take the cake away and they slice it up and bring it back to you with a cute little cup of ice cream and sprinkles. <laughs> we have our little ice cream with sprinkles. Honestly, this birthday party was a great experience. Like I said, I feel like you get a lot for $48 a person. And I was happy to hear from Lucy that a lot of adults actually do do these parties. I honestly think it would be such a fun bachelorette party. Okay, at this point during the birthday party, we were so full, but there was still a bunch of stuff on the menu that we wanted to try. So we went and did some of the other things like the salon and the ear piercing. And then after that, we made our way to the official bistro. So you don't have to book a birthday party to eat at the American Girl doll store because they have a full restaurant. Okay, here we are at the American Girl Bistro to get some desserts, as if we didn't have enough already. Starting with the rainbow cake. I honestly think this cake was my favorite thing from the entire day. It was just so moist. Look at that. <laughs> Do you think all of the colors taste the same? I want the blue. Is it gonna turn me blue? So good. Next up, I decided to try another shake. Cotton candy shake with actual cotton candy in it. Mm, thick. Is it actually cotton candy flavor? Or is it just blue vanilla? <laughs> <laughs> Look into my eyes. <laughs> and for our last dessert, we got the sun. Is this the lump of gold? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a holiday special. It's called lump of coal. <laughs> Looks like an ice cream sundae with brownies. I don't know. This one was a favorite amongst the entire team. I think it's a close second to the rainbow cake for me, though. Okay, are you ready for my package? So this package is from my mom because she found my American Girls from my childhood. <laughs> I begged and begged my mom for an American Girl doll all growing up when I was little. And then finally on my eighth birthday, I got my dream American Girl doll, Kirsten. <laughs> she was one of the originals and she was my best friend. I took her everywhere. We had matching outfits. So a little while ago, I texted my mom and I asked, hey, do you still have my Kirsten doll at your house? And she said, I don't think so, sad face. Where is she? I knew they had to be somewhere in her basement. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have not seen these dolls in like a literal decade, but here they are. Ah! <laughs> oh, and they're in some little pajamas that my mom made for them. Oh my dolls. <laughs> Also, in my other video, I was like roasting all the dolls that have like clearly been very played with. Look at how loose her legs are. <laughs> These dolls were very well loved. Kaya's hair definitely needs some conditioning. You know what I would love to do for them is get some of their original clothes from back in the day. The ones from the catalog that I always wanted. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching and coming to the American Girl Doll Store with me today. And we will see you guys in the next video.